celebration in the street tonight, nearly a month after the deadly synagogue shooting, the Chabad of Poway honored the life of the woman killed. 10 News reporter Anthony Pura is live and she's being remembered through a unique and sacred dedication. Anthony. And that dedication followed by cheers and joy. The celebrations all wrapped up tonight. A Torah scroll was dedicated to Lori Kay and that ceremony taking place in this very synagogue where she was shot and killed more than three weeks ago. Considered the most sacred object in Judaism, a Torah freshly inked and completed in front of a large crowd, then dedicated to Lori Kay. The wife and mother was gunned down in the April 27th attack on the synagogue. Her loss is still very raw and is very painful. The Torah tonight is going to begin healing our hearts. Rabbi Yesriel Goldstein described Kay as kind and generous, whose legacy will now live on through the Torah. We're going to take this Torah out every Shabbos. It's going to be marched around the show. We're all going to have a chance to touch the Torah and blow Lori a kiss. Kay's husband spoke to the crowd, describing his wife's dedication to her faith. Anything that has to do with Torah is what I think Lori would really want. And I think this is the miracle of us receiving this wonderful Torah. The celebration flooded outside the synagogue. The crowd carrying the Torah paraded it down the street in honor of the one they lost, the one they promise they won't forget. Life's events are unpredictable. We cannot control what people do. We can control how we react. And tonight's events, also an early commemoration to the end of the 30-day mourning period, although the actual 30-day mark is on Monday. We're reporting live in Poway, Anthony Pura, 10 News. Anthony, thank you.